going on guys, Mally Hack here on a tutorial on how to unroot slash upgrade your uh, Galaxy Tab GTP100 1000, I'm sorry, GTP1000 uh, This is the uh, Galaxy Tab, this is not the Galaxy Tab 2 or um, the other Galaxy Tab, like the 7 inch one, I mean it's a 7 inch but it's not the Galaxy Tab 7 or whatever it is This is the um, international version and this one is the we can put a sim card in there so this I think this is the first galaxy tab that came out okay and show you how to I'm gonna show you how to uh, root it in, in the next video and right now I'm gonna just show you how to um, unroot slash upgrade in case if you're still on uh, froyo or frojo whatever it's called okay um, first thing you want to do is of course is um, First thing you want to do is install your Samsung keys so you can get all the drivers. So, damn, where am I? Down root back. Uh, but you need your uh, drivers. You want to install Samsung keys. That's the first thing you want to do is install that. And once you install Samsung keys, um, go ahead and plug in your device. Um, Make sure the USB debugging is not on, it's not checked off. Plug it in, let it install the drivers, and as soon as you're done with that, go ahead and go into settings and go ahead and put it into uh, USB debugging, and then plug it in again, and that way it can install the drivers for both. And then you can just leave it at USB debugging. So here's the instructions, and uh, we're gonna go off of the um, on the uh, Team Overcome. Uh, they have a safety. Uh, upgrade with upgrade it will upgrade your your Galaxy to a JQ1 stock. So in this case, this is a 2.3.3. In case you're still on the 2.2 or something like 2.2.3, 2.3.2, whatever it is, whatever Froyo, I think it was 2.2. But uh, um, it will upgrade it to JQ1, and then from there you can go ahead and either get their ROM or you can go ahead and I mean when you um, put it back to stock. You can reroute it again and then, well, anyways, that'll be a different video. So, very quick, the first thing you want to do, like I said, install Samsung keys for your drivers and then um, go ahead and put your uh, turn off your device. Make sure your device is turned off and we're going to put it in uh, download mode, which will be a volume down in the power button. Just make sure that the your device is fully off before you do this. You hear the vibrate, and then uh, there you go. Then the little battery sound will come up if yours is plugged in. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in download mode, volume down, and power button at the same time. Okay. And then you should get a little triangle that says downloading. Do not turn off target. Now you should go ahead and. Um, if you didn't plug it in, um, just go ahead and plug it in now and leave it there. The rest will be done with uh, Odin. So we're gonna open our stack here. Um, you're gonna get something. If it'll be like this, will be the file. Um, you're gonna get you can get a README file here. You can get the modem, um, the the stuff to root it, and then um, this is your modems here. And I'll, I'll get over. I'll, I'll go over the modems a little bit, a little bit in deep. Okay, and this here's the rooting stuff. So first thing I'm gonna do is open Odin, and then uh, you're gonna make sure that the uh, the yellow, I mean the box is highlighted yellow. That means that you're connected, your drivers are installed correctly. And the first thing you do is just follow directions. That's all you have to do. So see here, blah 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 blah. You know, I just copy and paste the directions just straight from the website. So there's the website that you want to go to. It's teamovercome.net. They have pretty good stuff there. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Here, the direction will be from here. It says now. Now click on the pit. It's right here. Click on the pit. Find your file. If if I, I'll, I'll suggest you downloading the the file and save it to your desktop. That way, it'd be easier for you to find it. Um, I'm gonna be on my, I think my desktop. There you go. Then find Mr. Pitt. Now I'm right there. Hit open. There it is. Now we're gonna go on to um, uh, the PDA and we're gonna get the stock 
safe VA tar the dot tar file. Go back here, and then this should be it right here. We hit properties, double check, dot tar. There you go. Click it. Hit open. And there it is. There. Now, as for uh, and let's say we we click the phone. Um, mine is the mine is the Asia Europe and all that good stuff here okay so I have the JPZ modem but if you have a North American T-Mobile one right um, then you're gonna look for uh, oh, what I'll just show you where's that file okay here we go uh, no Oh, here you go. Overcome package. Um, here is service. Since mine mine is a European version one, this is the modem. This is the one that I need. The JPZ. This one. This one will go into uh, where it says phone right here. Okay. So since mine is the European one, this one I have. You have a T-Mobile one. No, you, you can go ahead and download that from the site. Okay. Well, I'll just probably include it. I don't know. And then you have an AT American AT&T one. It'll be that one. Um, so, so since mine's a European one, um, I chose this one. So I'll close that and go into uh, click on phone and uh, go find it. Uh, Android yes, tab. There you go. I put my on. I just extracted and put in the same file modem. And we need to look. We need to look for the uh, modem bin. On each one, so it doesn't matter if doesn't matter if you have the AT&T version or T-Mobile one. When you extract that zip file, you need to get this folder. Double click it, go under updates, and click on the modem bin. Hit open, and I think I don't think you need a CSC. See if you're a North American, you will look for the T-Mobile modem folder. Select the modem bin. Here it's in blah blah blah. To Mexico, you're not using GP one to other blah blah blah. User, look for the JK3 modem. This updated, so I think that one of these updated. I can't remember which one was. So, but according to this, it says it doesn't matter which modem you use. Okay. See, there you go, no CSC, and then we're gonna go ahead and click start. And make sure these three are clicked. Usually, you'll do that automatically. If you hit, a, if you click on pit, that repartition will pump up. So, anyways, make sure it's all clear there. Hit start, and it's gonna do its thing. Okay. So, and of course, um, don't forget to uh, back up your your Galaxy Tab beforehand. Um, I did my little quick little backup right here. So. And that's pretty much how that's how you unroot it, and how you upgrade it to the 2.3.3, which this is a stable JQ1 stock. Okay, and then from then um, I'll show you guys how to install uh, the different ROMs that it has. I believe for Jelly Bean is for I think they got Jelly Bean for this, but the ones I have right now it's just um, I think like AOKP and it's on Mod Nine. So, but before you install those, you need to um, install the Overcome kernel first at least the kernel and then after that you can go ahead and flash the other ones so this is gonna take a while so I'll, I'll be back when it's uh, when it's done alright so we're back now now that this thing uh, uh, says pass um, your galaxy tabs gonna go it's gonna go into the whole like uh, like you'd be flashing a new ROM to it uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna rewrite the files and it should be back onto uh, the JQ1 stock firmware. So now we have an unrooted Galaxy tab, and the next video uh, will be how to root it, and I'll do another video on how to get the, the custom ROMs into it, and then we'll get we'll get some jelly bean on this Galaxy tab, and then um yeah, and then I need to do another video on how to do on how to uh, change the screen on it because the, the screen is cracked, but it's still pretty good. 
pretty good still pretty good anyway you guys so that's pretty much it you guys so then once it's done doing this thing it's gonna take a while for it to load back so once that's done and you have an unrooted uh, galaxy tab so that's pretty much it you guys remember to like subscribe and share these videos if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to um, check out my new channel the MLM life for me and uh, I'll be posting up some videos there soon if you haven't heard from my last video uh, or you've been following my channel I've, I've talked about how I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a a channel on how to um but not a how-to video but more of a check on my progress and see how I'm doing video on I'm giving it I'm giving the online marketing world another try again and this time I um, actually have some tools and some some stuff that actually could make me succeed in it hopefully and then my YouTube is gonna be just gonna keep getting updates and updates on how I'm doing and you know so on and so forth so the day when you see no more videos that I'm posting up here is because I'm somewhere in a beach relaxing or because I got kicked out of my apartment and I'm in the middle of nowhere in the street with a tin can begging for money <laughs> you never know so anyways you guys so take it easy remember stay rooted and uh, hit me up on Facebook Twitter Google Plus deuces